What are some of those must skills that I'm being biased now? Okay, of course. First of, first of all, let's talk about ladies. My concern. Let, let's talk about ladies, first of all. Because I meet these girls who don't know how to cook. And they say they want to get married. So I'm wondering, are there some basic knowledge skills. or skills that someone needs to okay. have before they get into marriage? Before they, they, they think or they entertain the idea of getting married? Okay, so... First, let's go back to where we started. Mm. Um, I honestly think that parents are intimidated by their children. Okay. Because first, I want you to realize that, let me take my husband as an example. His mom uh, was trained at Luwa Mission. Mm -hmm. um, she never really went to school. So mm -hmm. generation, this is before independence. Mm -hmm. So then she raises children who acquire an education that she herself, Mm -hmm. uh, did not have. Yes. So after a while, these children then end up in big homes, mm -hmm. wealthy, with mm -hmm. cars. So in a sense, a mother would feel, une you know, like she's not needed. Okay. Because these children have acquired these skills that didn't come from her. Mm -hmm. So I want you to fast forward it to our generation. So um, my parents, for instance, grew up in the city. Mm -hmm. They didn't grow up in a village. That's why I gave the example of my husband. Mm -hmm. Because my husband actually moved from the village at grade 7 to form 1. Okay. So Doc has a very cultural background. He's okay. very cultured in his ways. Mm -hmm. Because he grew up in a village. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, I grew up in the city. My father spent his, his uh, young life in Zimbabwe, working on the Herald as a copy typist. His uncle had taken him there because his mom had died young. So he had spent his life sort of moving between uh, family members. Mm -hmm. So when we remember our dad, we remember a modern guy who was very city, a city man, mm -hmm. not a villager. Mm -hmm. He did and still had has family in the village. And we drew from that experience when they would come and visit or when I went to the village once with him. But more often we had people coming to the city. Okay. So... Grew up around grandmothers, very strong aunties, very strong uncles. So we were, we were raised in an extended family. And you could be reprimanded by anybody. It didn't have to be your own mom and dad. Your behavior could be checked by anybody who was an adult, mm -hmm. who was watching your conduct. So fast forward to you guys. Mm -hmm. um, you guys are leaving home unmarried women and men, right? Mm -hmm. So before, a girl would have left home to marry, okay. to enter her own So you, home. You, you don't leave the house as long as you... You are single, okay. right? So at a certain point, you've taken on the chores that your mother uh, would have normally done. Mm -hmm. You're the one preparing the meals. Mm -hmm. You maybe are the one washing clothes for your younger siblings. Mm -hmm. You're running the household. So you get experienced. Mm -hmm. Your mother would tell you, no, today we'll do this. No, what you're doing is wrong. Don't cut this vegetable like this. Do this. So you had that hands-on. Mm -hmm. I had that. Okay. Because my mom was actually, although she was a working mom, she was a, a domestic science teacher. So she was basically, she trained us how to cook, how to sew because it was her profession. And also because she was a working mom, at some point she left us okay. to do those duties. Mm -hmm. So when I look at my own daughters, my youngest daughter is not domesticated. She's only now becoming that because she's living on her own and she wants to eat a nice meal. So mm -hmm. she'll call, mom, how do you do a steak? How do you do this? I've cooked this, but it's not tasting right. What have I done wrong? Mm -hmm. So she's calling now for that. My other daughter, my older daughter, just loves cooking. She started cooking at around eight, nine. So she loves to cook. So at the end of the day, I think it's the fact that we have lost that proximity. Okay. We are no longer together, you know. So my home is empty, apart from my oldest daughter being here. So who am I going to teach? My grandkids are all away. Like, mm -hmm. you know, thank God they're returning soon. Mm -hmm. So I can then start to train my, my grandsons or my granddaughters, small as they are, to say, okay, do this and do that and get involved. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I think we're living far apart from each other. That could be one of the reasons too. Okay. Yeah, socially, we're just not connected anymore. Mm -hmm. Now you're talking about how do you, how can a young girl seek marriage when she cannot, well, not a young girl, <laughs> young lady, when she cannot even cook? Exactly. Maybe the question is, what is she seeking in marriage? 
Is she really thinking she's going to become a chef? Or cook to you and wash your clothes? I think she's <laughs> thinking, I'm going to live in that house that he's built. I'm going to drive his Mercedes Benz. I'm going to have rings on my fingers. He's going to buy me Brazilian hair. That's what a modern woman is thinking of. Is it wrong for her to cook in the house? It is not wrong. I'm just wondering if she's been prepared or mm. she has had an opportunity. So these, these young ladies are coming from working mothers, right? Mm -hmm. Who don't really have time to interact with a mother-in-law or to have brought maybe a grandmother to live with them so that she could train the girls. Mm -hmm. So we're coming from a very nuclear family. Mm. So this is where these girls are coming from. So if mom has had maids, the, the whole lifetime of this poor yeah. girl. Yeah. Are we really expecting her to be excellent she also wants at this a skill? Mate. Exactly. She also... <laughs> As a matter of fact, while you're dating, she's, she's asking for a mate. Is that not true? The other girls dating, I, I, I told you, mom, last time yeah. that I would literally pack my clothes and pack her clothes mm. and give to the maid to wash. Mm. So the maid would wash both my clothes mm. and her clothes. Yeah. Yeah. That is, that is real. And, um, this is my take on life. Uh, I think my, 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 my children will tell you that up to now, I will check someone. I'll correct you if you're wrong. Okay. And I'll say, okay, but why, son, why are you dropping your shirt here to expect your wife to come and pick it? That's why we have washing baskets. Why don't you pick up your shirt? Why don't you train your sons to do that? So to me, I'm looking at, there's a lack of engagement. Okay. I don't know whether the mothers are too busy, the parents are too busy. There's just a lack of engagement. So... For instance, I, gave, I told you that I'm looking forward to my grandkids coming because I think maybe that's the role I can play. Mm -hmm. You know, where I see gaps, mm -hmm. I can actually start to train my grandkids and say, okay, get this information from me. Because your parents are hustling, trying to pay bills. I mean, you guys want everything fast. We waited for things, but this generation doesn't wait for things. Mm -hmm. And you know this. Mm -hmm. People want... Can you imagine that... When I was starting out in life, a young person owning a car was just unheard of. Totally unheard of. How would this young person have acquired a vehicle? How? How could this young person have built a house? Mm -hmm. So this is what we're dealing with. Mm -hmm. So these are the dynamics. So I think we have to relearn. I think we should give ourselves permission to relearn. Okay. You know, rather than maybe being judgmental, mm -hmm. we just need to say, okay, I need a wife who can cook. There's some pretty, pretty hot girls out there who can cook. Nestled in a quiet neighborhood of Ibex Hill, near the United States Embassy in Lusaka, is Tasha's place. A fully serviced, four bedroom and four and a half bath house is rented out on a daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly basis as a whole house at very competitive rates. Discounts are given for longer stays of a week, a month, and more. for details. Terms and conditions apply. You just might have to look I, I, harder, I, I, but I'm, then I'm there. looking for one right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're there. They're there. They're okay. not all undomesticated. So in your own op op opinion and basing it on your experience, mm -hmm. I know there are a lot of chores mm -hmm. that you do at home. Yeah. Um, as a successful mother, mm. uh, I would call you like that. Oh, right? thank you. Yes. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, what are some of those things that you think, okay, uh, I think these one should know? Unnecessary. Okay. So, um, when I met Doc, he was looking after young men. He was not alone. 
Okay. So he had a, a young man who used to drive him and do his laundry and do his cooking. But he had some other young people in ministry because he mm -hmm. was preaching. So he had a team of young pastors who lived with him. And when I would visit him, I would be just amazed at how um, I felt that they were not engaged. It was a young man working and everybody else just sat around. I thought that was very strange. Because okay. I thought if somebody is offering you accommodation, mm -hmm. the least you could do is help. Yes. But it wasn't my home and it mm -hmm. wasn't for me to speak up. But one thing I will say is that we need to, um, when I got married to Doc, he, he told me he wanted to eat in Shima once a week. And he said, the rest of the time, Florence, I want to see how creative you are. Mm. So when I had left Bible school, I had been gifted, uh, this is in Dallas, Texas, I had been gifted a cookbook by my roommates mm. because I was very curious about American food. It was really, really good. And I just wanted to know, how come these guys, their food is not like British food, which is kind of bland? Mm. American food is very rich. And so I, I wanted to cook like American. So they bought me a Betty Crocker cookbook. So what I would do is I would actually read and experiment on recipes. That's mm. how I learned how to bake. That's how I learned how to roast meat. I learned how to make pies from my mom running a restaurant. Because we used to spend our holidays when we were teenagers just, you know, working in our, in our parents' business. So we kind of got the gist of business and cooking and that kind of thing. But I believe in this age of knowledge, mm. I mean, you and I could just take our phones today, right now, and put in how to YouTube. roast yes yeah. how to roast meat mm -hmm. and instead of actually reading a book you can watch it yeah, yeah. and it can be that quick mm -hmm. so maybe what might be lacking is interest okay interest rather than the fact that information is not there it is there but the interest so we need to train i think it's a responsibility of a mother to create a love for home in her daughters Mm -hmm. A love for home. I, I don't take kindly to young ladies who spend all their time out. Okay. Just meeting their friends at coffee shops, just going to one function after another. Um, I feel that disconnect from the home would also be reflected should they settle down. There's a restlessness, mm -hmm. like a dislike for yeah. the home. It represents... You want to be out most yeah, of the time. But you want, yeah. yeah, it's like they resent mm -hmm. being at home. It could also be because we have so many people who want jobs as maids that we now think all oh, that is rudimentary and I don't need it. Mm -hmm. Someone else can be paid mm -hmm. to clean to up it. after me. However, those of us who have lived long enough to see uh, someone like my father who was a stellar man and a provider as he aged become unwell mm -hmm. and it was my mother who mm -hmm. had to go back and be his primary caregiver mm. because at that stage someone is bedridden mm. they need privacy mm. and the only person who can afford them that is their spouse mm. now what if the spouse has never had experience looking after a sick person mm. or even looking after a child mm. so those skills that we are shying away from we are going to meet them in life even if we sort of avoid them mm. when we are stronger and healthier the truth is, as we age, mm. you're going to meet them. Let's give a scenario of, say, the unfortunate thing happens where you lose, as a mother, you lose a son. Mm. And, the, and, and you end up with orphaned grandkids. Mm. So suddenly in your home, there are three-year-olds, mm. five-year-olds, six-year-olds. Mm. Um, you're going to have to pull on some skill set mm. to manage those children. And, it's, it's ha and with AIDS, we all know that my goodness, orphans are all over the place. Mm -hmm. So to me, these are skills that we shouldn't avoid learning. We should be skilled, even if we have a maid. Mm -hmm. If the maid doesn't come, I can iron Doc's shirt. Mm -hmm. let's, let's, yeah. let's list those skills. Those skills. Ironing. ironing mm -hmm. right? Washing and ironing. Yeah. You know, putting a button back. Okay. The saddest thing, mm -hmm. Jonathan, is to see a man with a torn pocket <laughs> or a nail pants. <laughs> it's very sad, especially... Mm -hmm. Someone who's been married for a while, it speaks of mm, a lack of connection with the wife. And, mm. you know, he just uh, and his clothes are not laundered properly. They're not ironed properly. So it says a lot. Oh, my goodness. Yes. A lot of ladies don't like to iron. Well, you have to learn how to iron, even if it's just for yourself. Surely. I mean, I travel, you know, you know, I've shared with you back and forth to the mm. copper belt to work. Yeah. 
you, you honestly say if they I go and get, check into a guest um, a guest house and they say oh sorry Mrs Mumba uh, our iron is not working <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna walk out with an, a regal dress no. no so those are basic skills those are just very rudimentary skills for life baking oh yes well some people don't like baking mm. because it's a very my daughter and I laugh baking you cannot guess at baking you can guess at cooking meat but not baking okay. it's a precise skill if you mess up just how much baking powder you put in or how much fat you put in mm. the cake is messed up so yeah. it's a precise skill so if you don't like to bake mm. i can understand that it's like baking bread how many people can bake bread i can bake bread but most people don't like the kneading it's a very ah it's a lot of work mm. to actually make a loaf of bread if mm. you make it at home so some people may not like that some people may not like gardening some people may not like doing laundry but to me you should have life skills that if you lost your maid, say you couldn't find a maid for two months, mm. are you going to tell me that you won't wash your clothes? Or Jonathan has to go and buy a washing machine. Otherwise, this thing is not going down. I, I can't buy a washing machine now. <laughs> I'm not yet on that level. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, when you say that, mm. when you look at a kitchen party, mm. you've seen the things girls are getting. Mm. I mean, when I, was, when I had my kitchen party, None of those things are already available in Zambia. I know it's hard to think, but I got a whole bunch of uh, Zambia ceramics plates. <laughs> <laughs> That's all that was available. I think I must have gone about like 150 plates. Wow. So there was a time in this country when you couldn't get a new uh, cooker, a new washing, washing machine. Yeah. So the girls are a little bit spoiled, mm. but I would take pride in just being able to wash something by hand, being able to iron it, even with those irons with Malasha. Remember those irons? Yeah. Do you yeah. remember seeing those? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do that. Really? Yeah. Because it's just understanding the heat, how mm. the heat peaks with a malasha as opposed Choco. to... Yeah. Right. Yeah. Heat, yeah. Put the water exactly. In there, exactly. It exactly. Yeah. So it's, these are just skills that you must have. What if you go camping? Mm. Like the way we see our, our friends from Europe, they just love to go into the bush and try it out. And I used to camp as a girl guide. So I understand that you can cook on on wood, you can cook with stones, you can cook out there in the in the wild. Are you looking for a place to have quality and affordable videography, photography and graphic services done? Look no further. KMH. KMH. At Kabovelo Media House, we are specialized in all this for all events and occasions. Video streaming and production of content for TV, social media and other platforms. KMH. KMH. Graphic designing from logos to business profile and cards. For further details, contact us on 0979-81. 3471. We just don't deliver. We deliver quality.